Greetings folks, I have another Sonic Model Sky Hunter Racing, great little nano sized Sky Hunter plane. This one was sent to me by Geek Buying, so I'm going to set it up differently. This one, um, number two, I decided to use the green stickers. And I'm going to use the power plant from the uh, Sonic Model Mini AR Wing, another suitable setup with a little motor and a tiny little ESC, which is the important thing. Uh, this one is going to be the full FPV rig, and I'm going to fit uh, a Matek uh, flight control board with iNav and GPS in it somehow. I might have to take the little tray, apply tray, or move it forward or something like that out so I can put the board right down on the, on the floor to make it fit in. And I think it's going to be a fantastic little medium range FPV flyer because it's so efficient you can get really decent flights out of just a 1300 3S battery. It's kind of really designed for fast and furious ripping around uh, obstacle courses but I think it's going to be just as good as a, a medium range FPV. I'll just sort of go over some of the great features again. Uh, I love the magnet join for the wings. Uh, so far in my testing that's been plenty strong enough but you can just bolt it down if you're at all concerned about that. Might be a good idea if you're going to fly off uh, into the distance has the moulded uh, CG dots underneath there so you know exactly uh, how to get the CG right and that seems to be a pretty good spot to me. Uh, has the double um, hatch cover and takes the little top one off and you've got the little FPV platform there. What I'm going to do is just use my normal little FPV pod and uh, drill some holes and cable tie it and double sided tape it onto there because that's a nice little plywood uh, platform there. Gives decent strength. An X4R receiver, that's sort of my favourite little receiver for these things. So I'll either put that in the side, underneath. I'm not too sure I'll show you what I do with that anyway. That's going to fit no problems. Um, I have this GPS, or I might even go for a smaller one. The uh, Beatian MN880, I think it is. It will be a lot easier to fit in somewhere. I noticed on the geek buying website they've actually got the whole range of all the uh, the sky hunters so the racing the nano the mini and the full size sky hunter so check it out if you're interested in them it's just going to fit in there perfectly the problem is if it sits up there i've got my pin headers going up vertically so that sort of distance there is going to obstruct the wing so i really need to drop that platform there down further or take it out. It is just slidable, so you can just push it forward out of the way, which might be all I need to do. That'll give me somewhere to put the receiver there. So I might sort of build a little ledge in there just to sit the board on so it's a little bit more accessible and so it doesn't uh, sit up above that level there. So that's good. It's gonna be no dramas. The receiver could easily go out on a vertical stabilizer out there. Uh, that might be the best idea for best uh, range. And then all I need to do is work out where to put the GPS. And I think I might just sit the GPS up on top there. Need a little bit of gouging out of the little tab there, but it's going to fit reasonably well. And as you wiggle it in, I think I'll bolt it down just to be sure, and that will just get taped on the top there. Oh, and to make it easier to fit in, I swapped to the F411 board, which is a lot smaller. All right, so I just need to plug it in and uh, set up the board properly and here's the FPV pod uh, just put a little bit of uh, reinforcing underneath there so the cable tie doesn't pull through just plug it in there we go and the final thing is to put the receiver down the back here let's run the S-Bus wire up into the uh, flight control board so there we are, we're all ready to INAV up, 
Uh, the Runcam Sparrow, a 200 milliwatt Esheen video transmitter. I've got my GPS taped on the top there. I've got uh, the receiver down the back, just taped on there. Antennas vertical and horizontal there, so that's a good orientation. Uh, we are ready to go. Okay, here we go for a line of sight test first. Takes off nicely. Flying nice and stable. I've got a smaller prop on there, so it is going a fair bit slower. Fly at a higher throttle percentage. Got a bit of jittery in the uh, stabilization. I think my P's are a bit too high, but flying nicely. Cool little plane. Yes, I need to work out the stabilization a bit more, but that's down to INAV. I'll do an auto tune. Gliding in nicely. Good eye. Let's do some FPV. So there we go, cool little plane, works great for ripping around that line of sight or uh, with FPV, even with a flight control board in it. Really like it. Uh, plenty of space in the fuselage. Uh, I probably need a bit more power than I had, it's a bigger prop maybe. Uh, give it a go on 4S too. So that's the Sonic model Skyhunter Racing from Geek Buying. Thanks for watching.